um, it's Claire again. I just wanted to film a video response to a woman named Emily who I recently fell in love with watching her series of videos about achieving your best self and becoming your best self. And you know, she, her most recent video in her series, she talked about persistence and her struggle with the job search and finding her perfect career that, you know, she's worked really hard for. And I really related to that because I graduated college and originally my plan was to go to medical school and it just, it didn't work out the way I had always planned it in my life and it was very, you know, heart-wrenching to me that it didn't work out the way I had planned. I just changed my mind and so I figured that I would get a job. Um, I would just find a job and it would just fall in my, in my lap, like out of nowhere. Um, well, not that easy. I, I knew I would have to apply and I went to many workshops about finding a job and um, I went to the Career Center and I um, really honed in on my resume and it basically made myself look really great on paper. <laughs> and uh, no, just I really put my experiences and I wrote them out in detail and, you know, really found out where my experiences shined and I put them down on my resume and I thought that that's how you get a job. And I originally started out in Atlanta applying for jobs and I, I did, I found a job and it, it just, it turned out not being exactly what I wanted. So my boyfriend was getting his PhD in Chicago so I decided to relocate to Chicago and I figured that I would get a job there. And um, I have found a couple jobs here in Chicago, but it wasn't easy and it took persistence and Emily said in her video she had to be a pest and she had to call and, you know, even though it says do not call and people, you know, they'll say it says do not call, but a lot of times you have to make yourself a pest to get that job. And I know where I work now, we get a stack of applications every day. and. It's, it's hard out there and I just wanted to be honest and I wanted to thank Emily for g doing that video because I myself am, you know, I am working part time and I really enjoy my job um, and I'm also in that point in my life where I want to have that career set in mind and I'm, you know, be looking out for what what does make me hungry, what do I have that hunger for and what, I, what do I want to do as a career and I, I have a passion for people and I have this degree in biology and this you know hunger for the beauty that is human life and you know the chemicals and the molecular level of how things work and I just want to be able to you know put that all together into a career and uh, you know it, it is hard finding a job out there and thank you Emily for sharing your story and now I know that I'm not alone in you know, how hard it is and how frustrating it was and still is when you see a job opening and you want to call and snatch it up and you don't understand why after you interviewed you don't hear back right away and you know you've got to call, you've got to make those calls and you've got to be persistent and you can't give up the first time because you won't get it. <laughs> so Emily, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I felt like I shared your situation a lot, especially since you felt like you were moving with um, Tyler and you felt like you had only a small amount of places where you could apply. Tyler's her husband um, and he was going to law school so she felt like she wanted to live in that city or a city where she could drive to nearby for her job and I felt that with Johnny. I felt like, oh, well I'm going to go to Chicago and be somewhere where we can still live near the university So, and I wouldn't have that much of a commute. So just thank you, Emily, and um, good luck to all of you out there and let me know if you you know, have a similar situation and persistence pays off and it's tough out there, but we can do it. Find that fire in the belly and I'll talk to you later. Bye.